Hello, I'm Thomas from Exo Electronics and today I'm going to show you some information about the Trigger 16 expander for the NerdSec so you know what it can do and what to expect. If you don't know what the NerdSec is, it's a Eurorack sequencer with a tracker style user interface. Just check some of the links below for more information. The Trigger 16 expander has 16 trigger or gate outputs which are integrated into the sequencer tracks of the NerdSec. Each output can generate triggers, gates and everything the local trigger outputs can do. It's an 8 HB wide Eurorack module. You can use up to 4 expanders at the same time which are then integrated into the NerdSec. Other expanders for more CV outputs and more are going to be released soon as well. Up to 64 extra outputs are then possible, which should be enough to sequence your whole room. With the ribbon cable, you simply connect the expander to the NerdSec expander port on the back side as well as on the other expanders. You will need the new firmware of the NerdSec which will be released together with the expander. And even without the expander, it's definitely worth to update to it as it adds some cool new features such as polyphonic MIDI sequencing on multiple tracks, dividers and multipliers and much more. So let's dive into it. For the video I connected some outputs of the trigger expander on the left to the LDB2 drum module and one output to the Erika synth bass drum. Here we are on the sequencer screen with some prepared patterns. To assign a track to the track expander, you go to the project screen and choose the new track setup option. So we go there, track setup, okay. Here you can assign the expanders or MIDI to the sequencer tracks. You see the eight tracks here. The first six can be used for the expanders. You just change the value and it browses between the normal modular function through the 4 NSA up to MIDI. The modular function, 4 NSA and MIDI. And on the second NSA, there's the trigger expander connected. One expander can be assigned to multiple tracks as well. So you could choose some parts or outputs of the expander on one track and other parts on other tracks. So I already assigned the expander on track 3. Then let's create a new pattern. So we are on track 3. New pattern. And when we go to the pattern screen, you can see that it looks different compared to the usual patterns. Here we have the 8 trigger columns which belong to the first 8 trigger outputs. You can change these also to the second 8 trigger outputs. The values and functions that can be inserted here are exactly the same as the usual trigger commands of the CV and gate tracks. So only the first digit changes the trigger length and the second digit changes the delayed gate. If both values are filled in then it's a re-triggering. Fe sets the gate and 0 resets the gate. Next on the right we have three fx columns for the effects. Here you can set every trigger parameter for every output as well. So, trigger one, two, three, two. Additionally, you can set binary values for the outputs. With this you could create some nice dividers. And next to the probabilities for the trigger parts you have all the FX functions for the local CV gate tracks as well. So you can still control all of the functions that you know. Okay, let's uh, set a break here to make a 16 step pattern and fill in some triggers. So, break, we go back, press start, and then
find. I right? delete them again. Oops. Completely on the right, we've got a nice drum matrix, which is a classic view to other tra 16 trigger outputs. Here you can set and reset the triggers with a nice overview. So I start the sequencer again and program some beats. Drum metrics, you usually only have triggers, but using the normal trigger columns here on the left overroots the drum matrix triggers so I could add some nice snare roll here. So back on the sequencer screen and playing another pattern. Play a shuffle pattern. So we go there. You can see uh, that we can use the same groove functions to get some shuffled or poly polyrhythmic grooves. So let's uh, add a simple bass line. automator and apply for example the LFO to the trigger length or to the delay and more. Uh, it's on track 3 so you can see delay. Also with this, also this without losing the automated functions for the local CV and gate outputs. So this was just a basic overview. I didn't show all of the functions. Please check the menu for some detailed information. The Trigger 6 in the expander is now available in black and in grey and will soon be followed by more expanders. <laughs>